Hi there. Just thought I'd do a quick review of the uh, the heating iron that I use for covering my uh, my radio control aeroplanes. Um, it's a Prolux Digital LCD um, ceiling iron, and um, I've had it for about eight months, nine months, and I've covered about uh, I've covered three different aeroplanes in it, 60 inch wingspan, so kind of medium sized planes, but you know I've had quite a lot of use out of it. Um, and feel that I kind of know uh, know the iron now. Um, so I paid um, well, I paid uh, 1,200 baht for it in Thailand, but actually that works out about uh, 29 pounds sterling or about 38 US dollars. Um, this is made in ta uh, Taiwan, as I said, it's a it's a Prolux. They do quite a lot of um, RC type stuff. Uh, fuel pumps, um, I've got a, a plug spanner by them and I think I've got something else by them, I can't, oh I've got one of the uh, starters. So anyway, we'll take a closer look at this and um, I'll just go through some of the uh, some of the points. Okay, so as I said it's a, a, a Prolux uh, heating iron made in Taiwan and um, they do it in three different voltages um, I've got the, the 220 voltage, but they'll do it in 210 or 240. Um, and it provides a temperature range of between 100 and 120 degrees C. I, I was quite surprised by this 100. I thought that was quite high, really. And some of the films I've used in the past suggest uh, lower temperatures than this. So, um, I, I, like I say, I was surprised by that. Um, it's got an LCD display. Um, you can see here it's got a, quite a nice bright LCD display which is really easy to see, there's no problems at all. And you can change it between centigrade and, uh, and Fahrenheit and um, it's thermostatically controlled. So, I mean they suggest that there's a, a sensor point towards the back of the, uh, the, back of the iron and um, a central point slightly higher up which is, uh, which is a bit hotter. Um, the, the iron itself comes with the, the stand and um, a single sock, uh, if I remember correctly, I think it came with a single sock, I may have bought that separately, I'm, I'm not sure, so don't hold me to that. Um, I, I've, I've wondered about how, how accurate this was, so what I thought I would do with regards to the temperature, I've, I've borrowed this infrared uh, thermometer off a, off a friend, I mean it's a, a quite inexpensive um, Thermometer, and I wasn't sure how good it would be. So what I did before I uh, used it on this to test it, I actually calibrated it on a boiling kettle, and it came out at about 98, 99 um, degrees C, which was pretty accurate. I was I was quite surprised to be honest. I didn't think it would uh, would be that accurate. So I'm going to use that to to see how the temperature pans out on this iron. Um, we've got three controls on the iron. Um, as I say, we've got a, a, a quite a nice bright um, LCD screen and uh, switch that on, little red indicator here and we can see um, this is starting to heat up now, it's at 71 degrees C and uh, it should be just, start, there we go, it's just start to rise, 72, um, 73. Now if I want to uh, set the temperature um, what I do is just press either the minus or the plus and that will bring up um, a little uh, circle around the set. Um, let me just move that a little bit closer. Uh, if I press the, the minus that will bring up a little circle around the set. Um, it's just, there we go. A little circle around the set and then I can either reduce it or I can increase it. So, right now, if I leave that at um, 105 degrees, and uh, that should now just heat up to 105 degrees, as indicated by the, the, the LCD, what it normally does is it will just rise a little bit higher, maybe 3, 4, 5 degrees, um, and then that will um, drop down um, as the thermostatic control kicks in. Um, but it's not actually doing that now, it's, it's staying at 105. So that's fine. Um, let's just check. 
press either the minus or the plus and it flashes at what it's set at. So that's set at 105 degrees now. Oh, it's just starting to rise up a little bit now. Um, and that will probably go up a little bit more and if we just wait for that to settle a second. Okay, well that went up to 110 and it's just settled back down now to 105 which as we press that we can see that's what we've got it set at and once you've got it at a set temperature like this it is pretty consistent it stays there it doesn't wander it may wander the odd one or two degrees um, but but that's about it and if we turn this over now so that's set at 105 degrees and we'll just use the digital thermometer to see what that's uh, set at So that's saying it's about 100 degrees. Um, on the box it's saying plus or minus uh, 5 degrees. So I guess we'll give them that. That's um, Depends where you put it on the iron. If I put it further forward there, it comes to... Uh, it, it seems a pretty consistent temperature across the whole of the iron. Which, to be honest, I think I would prefer than having a hot section. And, and that's, that's still on 105. So I think that's, um, I, can, I guess that's within the limits that they specify. It, it, to be honest, I, I kind of don't really care. Um, I, if, as long as the, um, the, the temperature is, is consistent, um, and it seems to be staying at a consistent temperature, because as the, the reading on the LCD alters, I'm getting a, a similar corresponding um, uh, change with the thermometer. So I think it's pretty consistent, which is what you want. Um, uh, when I'm covering something, I, I always do like a, a, a framework and do like a, a, a test sheet or a test piece and just see what kind of temperature it, it, it needs rather than going by the specifications. So I don't think knowing it's 100 degrees matters as long as it's constant and when you take it up a degree or down a degree it actually does what, it, what you're wanting it to do. Um, because as you're working films uh, you, uh, you naturally kind of find what temperature your iron needs to be. So I, I, I don't really think it matters the absolute temperature. Um, but I've had nothing but success with this. I, I, I really like this, this iron um, and, and I can highly recommend it. If you're looking for an iron, um, I think this is, this is a good one to try and having that digital display and the controls are very easy to use and there's no, they're, they're sunk in so there's no uh, issues of pressing those accidentally while you're, uh, while you're using the iron. So, yeah, I can, I can recommend that. I, I quite like it.